All right, today we're taking a look at Silent Hill 2 Remake. Now, I will say I have not played any of the Silent Hill back in the day. Um, I am more of a Resident Evil uh, player. Uh, I don't know anything about the Lord of Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill in general. Uh, so this is my first uh, dive into the Silent Hill universe. And so far, I will say this remake is pretty darn awesome. Now it plays and feels most certainly like the more modern Resident Evil over the shoulder. Uh, but uh, it's got that eerie kind of Silent Hill uh, vibe to it. Uh, it looks excellent. Very detailed in everything you look at. Especially the text and just drop dead gorgeous if you can actually um, run it. But uh, it is going to be pretty hard to run. You might have to play around with your setting a lot. DLSS and FSR is definitely going to be required. Uh, unfortunately, there is no frame generation. There is HDR, and uh, it looks pretty decent. If you're playing this game on the OLED, my gosh, uh, it looks absolutely stunning, um, especially when you're in the hallway with just complete darkness and with just some light flickering. Uh, it looks absolutely scary. Now, as you can see, the game does support ultra-wide gameplay menus and everything like that. Uh, right out the box, it does support out ultra-wide. The only thing it does not support in ultra-wide is the cutscene. But uh, Rose over in widescreen gaming was quick to uh, remedy that. So we do have a cutscene fix right now that uh, removes the pillow boxing. And on top of that, she also uh, uncapped the frame rate. So if you don't like the 30 FPS cap on cutscenes, uh, go ahead and also download that mod and install it. Uh, all the links will be in the description as always. Performance wise, like I said, the game is going to be pretty hard to run. Even on a high-end system uh, with everything on max, you're looking at between 70 to 90. Um, and that is with uh, DLSS or FSR. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, ray tracing is also uh, available, but it is just a simple on and off toggle. Not much flexibility. Uh, but yeah, you will have to really play around with your setting to run uh, this game at a decent frame rate. Uh, indoor is not too bad. It's mostly um, the outdoor that you get, you're going to experience some stuttering uh, if you don't turn some of your settings down. Right now, this game also has a lot of ghosting, especially in cutscenes. Um, TAA seems to make Anyone it there? a lot worse, so uh, you might want to turn that off for now. Hopefully, there's a fix for it, but right now, TAA is causing a lot of ghosting, especially in cutscene. Um, evident here, you can see in the cutscene around her arm area, uh, you can see a lot of ghosting going on. Now this game doesn't have a FOV slider per se, but uh, it has an option I've never seen before. It's called Panini Projection, I believe that's what it's called. Um, it kind of gives you three presets of uh, how close the camera is to um, the character. Uh, obviously, if you turn it off, then it looks the best. Uh, it's not too zoom into the character, so play around with that setting, see what looks best for you. But uh, yeah, no FOV slider. Control-wise, the game does recommend you use a controller, but you can absolutely play this game fine uh, with a mouse and keyboard, just like Resident Evil, the modern series. Uh, it plays just exactly like that, so I'm not sure why control is recommended, but uh, it, it plays absolutely fine. Just like the graphics, the audio is superb. Um, everything sounds really impactful and eerie, especially the soundtrack. really fits well with what's going on screen. Uh, if you have a good pair of speakers and uh, headphones, be sure to turn it up on. It look it sounds absolutely uh, eerie and um, great sound uh, quality as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a survival horror for the month of October, this is a definitely uh, great pickup. Uh, you don't even have to know anything about Silent Hill like I do, and uh, you still be able to enjoy it. Uh, the gameplay is fantastic so far. The atmosphere is fantastic. Uh, definitely the voice acting so far everything everyone is really good um, it just really adds to kind of like the immersion uh, all the voice acting are really well um, acted out all right guys so that's my quick impression of Silent Hill 2 remake like always appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next video take care for now